Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video exploring some really, really key information that I want to share with everyone around um, a simple proven practice for preventing pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes, okay? Um, this is such important information, okay? I want to talk about what pre-diabetes is, why it's such a risk, and why this phenomenal herb is the most effective remedy we probably have to help mitigate that problem, okay? So I've just returned from uh, an amazing um, a time away in Crete, on the Greek island of Crete, where I've been exploring some of the healing traditions there, the healing practices, the way the, the traditional medicine of Greece uses certain herbs and certain foods and, and culinary medicine and herbal medicine to, to you know, support the phenomenal longevity they have in these regions, um, how they prevent illness, how they manage illness, okay? And, um, I'm going to be releasing lots of videos on this channel about that over the coming weeks, but wanted to start with this one, okay? Because pre-diabetes, as it stands now, one in five adults over the age of 40 are pre-diabetic. That statistic is soon predicted to be one in three, but the crucial point is that most people don't know it. Okay, most of pe most people who are clinically pre-diabetic don't know that they are pre-diabetic. Okay, and that comes with uh, a litany of risks. Okay, because if you're pre-diabetic, obviously your risk of developing full type two diabetes is exponentially increased. It's really just a matter of time. Okay, but even more so. We know that living with chronically elevated blood sugar is an independent risk factor for cardiovascular diseases, Alzheimer's disease, cancer, uh, and increased you know, mortality rates. We know it's a risk factor for dying prematurely. Okay, so in terms of maximizing our health, maximizing our longevity, our wellness, one of the most important things we should be doing is one, regularly checking our blood sugar, but two, acting in a way and adopting practices that are going to help uh, you know, mitigate that risk. Okay, and in that capacity, when I was speaking to the traditional healers, the herbal, uh, the herbalists, the you know natural medicine practitioners in in Crete, when we were speaking about you know type two uh, diabetes and pre diabetes, there was one herb they kept on coming back to as being the most important herb, the most important remedy we have access to for you know regulating and optimizing blood sugar, and that's the celebrated olive leaf. Okay not not the oil okay extra virgin olive oil has got a you know a, a, a plethora of health benefits and i'll talk about those in another video but here we're specifically talking about olive leaf okay dried or fresh olive leaf so in the in in greek medicine that would be used as a way of of stabilizing blood sugar but what's so interesting is the way that published clinical evidence now supports that because what we know is that the compounds found within olive leaf are able to do two things relevant to, to stabilizing blood sugar. One, they increase the, the, the pancreas's ability to, in, to produce insulin okay uh by up to 28 percent yeah that is a massive increase in production of insulin and that's fundamental because insulin is what carries blood glucose into the cells okay so if we've got blood sugar building up in the blood to lower that we've got to get the glucose into the cells and the only way you can carry glucose into the cells through the cell wall is via piggybacking on top of insulin. So by increasing insulin production, which we know olive leaf does, we facilitate an increased clearance of blood sugar. But perhaps even more importantly, is the issue of insulin resistance. And this is, I think, the biggest risk factor for prediabetes and type 2 diabetes, because as we age, if we're living, you know, we're eating foods that are high in sugar, you know, even if we're living, uh, eating a relatively healthy diet, our cells increasingly become uh, resistant to insulin. The cell walls won't let insulin enter into them. And if the cell wall, if the insulin can't enter the cells, it can't carry the blood sugar with it, which means the blood sugar is going to build up in the blood, which is going to put the levels up, which then predisposes prediabetes and over time type 2 diabetes. Okay, what we know is that the compounds in olive leaf increase the sensitivity of our cells to insulin and reduce insulin resistance by almost 20 
percent okay that is a, a profound gain i haven't seen any clinical evidence any published research that is more um powerful than that and all of the herbs that we have access to all of the herbal research i've never seen uh clinical statistics that are that compelling okay um and given that you know the regular consumption of olive leaf has also been proven to support optimal heart health it's got proven cancer preventing mechanisms um it's got proven alzheimer's preventing mechanisms it just goes on and on and on this is the kind of the herbal gift that keeps on giving and i think if we correlate that with the exceptional longevity that we see in these greek islands i think we can very easily you know make two plus two equal four here by looking at the probably the very significant role that the regular consumption of olive leaf is having on the you know, exceptional health and longevity in these communities it's also super easy to use okay you know if you've got an olive tree in your garden you know olive olive trees thrive in most you know temperate regions um you can just harvest your own this is from a tree you know that i brought back uh branches that i brought back from crete to dry um or you can buy you can buy dried olive leaf really easily really cheaply online and the best way of using it is just to make greek um uh olive leaf tea okay just about uh you know a, about one to two uh, teaspoons of dried olive leaf into a cup pour over boiling water and just make a herbal tea out of it okay drinking one to two cups of olive leaf tea every day on an ongoing basis arguably one of the most powerful herbal mechanisms we have for disease prevention health optimization and longevity optimization okay if you have any questions about that please let me know in the comments like i say i'll be releasing a series of videos around all of the remedies and and secrets that i learned uh, in crete around traditional greek herbal medicine and, and culinary medicine so stay tuned for those if you want to be updated when they're released please subscribe to the channel that way you'll know when each video drops as always any questions let me know in the comments below and i'll see you soon